hi guys welcome back to my new video and today in this video we will create this web page that you can see on my computer screen on this website design i have added one navigation bar with one logo and some icons on the right side then we have two columns and in the left column there are some text one price and one button and in the right side i have added a background color and there are some images which is product image so in this product image there is a main image and for other small images so we will learn to make this type of web design in this video step by step using html css so before starting this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one now let's start this video here i have this folder and in this folder i have one html file and one css file and one more folder with name img in this img folder i have some icons and images that I will be using on this website. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Now I will open this file with the text editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures like HTML head tag body and uh, this title tag and this link tag. I have added this link tag to connect HTML file and CSS file. So this is the CSS file. Next we will add the code in the body tag and in this body let's create one div with the class name container. And now we will add the CSS for this container. So here let's add this container in the CSS file and we will add the CSS properties like width, height and next we will add the background. This is the color code and after that and after that we will add the color white. Next open this HTML file with web browser so you can see this dark color on the complete web page. Now let's come back and in this HTML file we will add one nav tag and here we will add the logo. So I am using the img tag and image file path and let's add one class name for this logo. So the class name is logo. After that we will add some icons on the right side. So let's create one div and add one class name nav icons. Here we will add three image so we are using the image tag and duplicate it and change the image file name. So we have added these three image and one logo and you can see these images on the web page. Now just come back and copy this nav write it here. For this nav we will add the display flex align item center and justify content it will be space between. After that if I refresh the website you can see logo in the left side and other images on the right side. Next we will add some space from left and right side so just come back. So here we will add the padding 30 pixel and 8%. Next we will add the position fixed and top 0 so it will be fixed at top. Width will be 100%. After that let's refresh the website. And you can see these images are going outside of the box. So just come back and here we will add box sizing border box. Let's refresh the website again and you can see now it is fine let's come back and copy this class name logo write it here and for this logo we will set the width 120 pixel and cursor pointer now we will copy the class name this one nav icons write it here and then write img for the small icons here we will add the width and margin from the left side and cursor pointer refresh the website and you can see these images size is perfect Next we will add some content in the body so just come back and after this nav closing tag here we will create another div with the class name row and in this row let's create one div with the class name call1 duplicate it and write call2 so we have two columns here. Now in the first one we will add one title in h1 so this is the title. Now just copy this class name row write it here in the css file and here we will add the height 100% width 100% display flex. Now we will add background color it will be this color and refresh the website and you can see this color on complete web page but we want the dark color on the top so just come back and in this nav we will add this background like this and after that we will add z index 1. Now you can see this navigation bar in the dark color. Now just come back and here we will copy this class name call1 write it here and we will write call2 also. And here let's add 
flex space is 50% so it will use half a space then height 100% and display will be flex justify content center and flex direction will be column so content inside this div will be vertically center now refresh the website and you can see this text vertically center let's come back and now we'll write the css for the column 2 write it here here we have to add one dot that is missing like this and for this column we will add the background red like this now you can see the red background on the right column next we can replace the color from the row so remove this one and you can see left side is dark now just come back and after this title we will add a small text in p tag so this is the text and next we will add one price in h2 I'm adding $150 then we will add one button type will be button and button text is add to cart you can see this title and button in the left column next we will design it so let's come back and copy this column write it here and for this one we will add some padding from the left side so we will add the padding left 8% now it is good it is in the same alignment with the logo let's copy it again then write h1 for this title we will increase the font size and line height then we will add margin from the bottom to add some space then let's copy this again and write h2 for the price here also we will add the font size and uh, let's add the margin from the top and we will add the font weight 500 like this you can see there is no changes in h1 so let me see where is the mistake here in this title i have only added h it will be h1 like this after that refresh the website and you can see this title it is looking good next we will add line break in this title so here let's add br to add a break and in this small text also we will add one br over here Now it looks good. Next we will add the CSS for the button. So copy this button, write it here in the CSS file. For this button we will add display inline block and after that we will add width, it will be fit content. Next let's add the padding of 18 pixel and 50 pixel. Then background will be red and border will be none. Color it will be triple F which is white and font size 18 pixel and let's add margin from the top and cursor pointer now this button looks good now we have added everything in the left column next we will add the content in the right column so in this call to let's add one div with the class name featured img and here we will add one image with the img tag and this is the image file path like this now just copy this class name featured img write it here in the css file and for this one we will add width it will be 100% and text align center then again write this class name and img and width will be 80% refresh the website and you can see this image on the right side next we will add small images below this main image so just come back and here let's create one div and i will add the class name small img row and in this row we will add another div with the class name small img let's duplicate this div because we need four div like this now just copy this class name small img row write it here here we will add display flex and width will be 80 percent and margin let's add 70 pixel and auto and zero then we will add align item center and justify content will be space around now just copy this one and write it here for this a small img we will add the width and height 80 pixel and background triple c it is gray color you can see these box below this main image next we will add one image in all these small boxes so just come back in the html file and here we will add one image tag img tag and image file path so this is the image let's add image in the second one also we will change the image file name 
in the third one and in the fourth one. Like this we have added four different images in all the small boxes. Now just copy the class name, this one, write it here and write img. For this image we will set the width 120 pixel. Now you can see one image in all the small boxes. Let's come back and in this featured image we will add transform rotate minus 20 degree. And in this a small img we will add transform translate minus 50 pixel 20 pixel and rotate minus 20 degree like this. Now it looks good. Next we will add some space from the top so let's come back and in this call to let's add padding top 8%. Now it is looking good, we have some space from the top. Next we will change the color in the small boxes. So come back in the CSS file and write this class name. Then write nhchild1. It will select the first small box and here we will add the background. This is the color code. Let's duplicate it and here we will change the nhchild2, 3 and 4. And we will add different color code in each small boxes. Now we will add the different color in the fourth one like this and refresh the website and you can see it looks good. Next we will add one text in the right column. So let's come back in the HTML file and in this call to after this div we will add one title in h2. So the title is Nike and let's copy this class name call to then write h2. For this one we will add position absolute and left 10% and top 22% like this. And here we are adding position absolute so in this column 2 we will add position relative. After that we will refresh the website and you can see this text here. Next we have to increase its font size and we will decrease the opacity. So here we will add font size 130 pixel and opacity will be 0.3 like this. Now this text looks good. Next we will add one hover effect on this button. So let's come back and copy this button write it here and here we will add hover. In this hover we will add background this color code and transform translate by minus 5 pixel so it will move up by 5 pixel. Let's come back to this button and here we will add transition transform 0.5 seconds so it will be a smooth transition. Now you can see hover effect on this button this button is moving up by 5 pixel and the color is also changing. Next we can add the click event on a small images if we will click on the first image the same image will be displayed at the featured image position. That type of video I have already created on my channel I will put that video link in the description so that you can watch that video and create this click event also using a small javascript. So I hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.